Alrighty, my legends, welcome to volume three of the low and slow build. This is a Suzuki Sierra transfer case mount. My aim today is to make a heavier duty one, obviously for the extra weight and torque that this thing will be running. So yeah, I've got a unbreakable one in the fatty, the big Suzuki there. Um, instead of buying one, I thought, no, I'm gonna try and make one. So yeah, this is, this is the next job on the rig. Still sitting pretty. Anyway, let's go. Alrighty guys, I've decided to bite the bullet and adjust this sump. Back when this engine was in the Bellino, it sat on the lean like this, so which made this sump bottom flat. Uh, but now in this motor, it sits upright like that. So I'm gonna level it out. The pickup for the oil is here, so I'm not gonna lose much ground here. I'm only gonna lose it here. The dipstick still won't bottom out to this line. So Never adjusted a sump before, so I'm, I'm hoping everything's all good. Um, the pickup, I'm gonna keep the pickup height the same. So I've shortened this a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, everything's on this side, which is, which is almost the untouched side. So fingers crossed we're all good. It's gonna take about that much off. Obviously that was just a rough mark from when the engine was in the car. And yeah, I'm gonna put that back on there like that. But yeah, like I said, everything, all the pickup was here, and this is the this is the low side, and even even the dipstick will still have a little bit of play, a little bit of a give. Anyway, first time for everything. A little bit daunting, but I'm sure we'll get there, and hopefully it doesn't affect the the uh, oil pressure at all whilst running. Oh yeah, and the reasoning behind modifying the sump was rather than bottoming out on the bump stops, it would have bottomed out on my steering rods and diff. So yeah, I want that clearance because yeah, I only had about this much, but obviously with bounce and sag and flex and all that, she was bound to hit the steering rods, that's for sure. Alrighty, the oil pickup has been shortened 10 mil. I've just sprayed some lithium grease on it to uh, prevent it from rusting till I get the pan back on and filled with oil. Now the tr now the whole pan let's go Howdy YouTubers a bit of an update on the sump I uh, had a yarn with one of my mates because I wasn't 100% certain on what to do so I've taken the top off here and I lost about a liter of oil and he said most importantly whatever you lose you have to put somewhere else so you need to still have that um, same capacity if not more uh, more capacity the better than not enough so I've added this little compartment on here which is about probably about a liter maybe more definitely more than what I lost here so yeah this is all together now I just want to get a cap on that I've ran out of steel so I have to get that tomorrow um, but yeah there she is bit of an update on the sump ship welding this oily stuff eh Anyway. Alrighty, I did a bit of shopping because I live in the country and there's not much choice of uh, steel. I got this. I'm glad I took Zeus because it only really just fit widthwise in the tray. It's about two and a half mil plate. I only need a section like this so I can um, I can flatten that out with the hammer. I also bought some diesel so I can uh, check the sump for leaks overnight, I suppose. Once I've got that plate welded up. Anyway, let's get cracking.
anybody, please don't hit me up in the inbox saying, why didn't you bloody wash and paint the engine? I'll wash it later. Anyway, I've got the gearbox back on. Hopefully for the last time. I'm going to throw the engine and gearbox back in tomorrow. I'm going to give the engine bay another coat of paint and the bonnet as well. And yeah, throw this in tomorrow once it's all dry. Alrighty, so I went to Bunnings and got a second tin of paint and by accident I got the wrong colour. So now we're going with hammered finish blue rather than this green. I actually prefer it. It suits the driver's colour more. So, because it's getting resprayed the same colour, I think that works a bit better. Look at that. I like the green, but the blue is just more fitting. Absolutely over the moon, my new engine mounts showed up. They weren't supposed to show up for another week or two. Uh, I, that means I wasn't going to be able to put this engine back in because it would have been too much double handling. But I'm going to be able to get this engine in because I'm heading to Perth tomorrow, which means I won't be touching the rig for a week or two. So yeah, I'm glad I can throw these in today, throw the engine back in. Happy days. Let's go. Alrighty, my legends, I'm going to wrap up low and slow volume three wrapping it up with the engine in the freshly painted bay happy days got it back in a little little bit of a mission but we got there anyway guys thanks for tuning in once again on the j18 into the holden drover like and subscribe as always drop a comment hit us up with some questions or whatever you want you know guys Spread the love of these Suzuki's, aka a little bit of a Holden Drover. Peace out. Cheers, guys.